Hey there everybody, KYN here and welcome back to my Let's Play of Chips Challenge 2 everybody on the Steam Engine. So last time we completed only 10 more levels of the game, level 71 to 80 and yeah, one of the levels took me far longer than it needed to only because like uh, for some very strange reason it did not occur to me that um, the bowling ball on that level is actually used to uh, destroy an ice block because it's actually hiding a critical um, item that you need in order to get to the exit. Yeah, um, like, I'll be honest, I actually did not remember a, a solution involving that. Yeah, uh, destroying something that's hiding something underneath. Yeah, but the problem there is that you cannot boot the ice block at all since it is blocked in all directions. Um, yeah, and in the open direction, you cannot uh, push it in that direction because, yeah, again, the opposite direction is blocked. And yeah, quite honestly, after uh, that level experience, yeah, um, like almost 10 years later, I'm like, yeah, um, these like um, levels like involving hidden elements and everything, yeah, these can be really unfair. But then again, I shouldn't be complaining because Chips Challenge Low Pack uh, 2 is the worst offender of it because there are plenty of levels um, involving a lot of unintuitive um, combo of tiles where um, there are things hidden, yeah, and you have no idea that they're there unless you look at the map. Yeah, I definitely remember a lot of lows being frustrating as a result. But that is under um, uh, the Microsoft rules. Yeah, you're, there's now a Lynx compatible version where, um, yeah, because uh, these would render lows unsolvable or not playable at all. Yeah, uh, they pretty much do not exist yeah, in that rule set, I think. So therefore, yeah, um, the low pack as a whole is a lot fairer yeah, under Lynx uh, rule sets uh, rather than Microsoft. But, um, uh, yeah, it's like I said, though, yeah, um, um, I guess it, I shouldn't be surprised just because there were a handful of levels in Chips Challenge 1 that also had a lot of hidden stuff underneath blocks and everything. So, um, yeah, I guess, uh, in a way, you can kind of expect that to carry on, uh, carry the, the, the tradition in Chips Challenge 2 as well. Yeah, but, um, so far there haven't been too many of them, I don't think. Yeah, if I am, uh, like, remembering correctly here. Um, but yeah, that little, that little, um, uh, mush took a lot longer than it needed to, only because I, I, I kept thinking about how could the bowling ball use the, uh, two boots, yeah, that you're given in the low, or, or rather, that are in the low. Uh, but it turns out that you do not. Yeah, instead, it's just used to destroy one of the ice blocks that you cannot move. Um, so anyway, um, as a result of that though, yeah, um, I was only able to complete 10 levels that time. Um, and so, with this video, it might be the exact same thing, but uh, we shall see. Yeah, it's either going to be 10 more or, two, or 20 levels. Um, so anyway, I think with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into a Let's Play now. Um, yeah, this here I read the last time, and yeah, I made sure that after I finished the recording, or ended the recording, that uh, there wasn't any more pages of pre-text here. So, yeah, and there isn't. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into... Level 81, uh, Campfires by Nick Loria. Alrighty, um, so it's just simple, it seems to be like a simple navigate fire maze or something like that. Well, it's not even a maze at all, but rather a load in which you just need to navigate the fire hazards. It's probably gonna be like fireflies, um, star or something, I don't know. So maybe there is no possibility, or not like, uh, much of a high probability. Oh yeah, a bit of a there is, yeah, because now I'm seeing a lot of them, with the fireballs. So yeah, maybe it is going to be like, Firefly style. Yeah, especially since there isn't really that much gravel at all. So therefore, there's a lot of unprotective open space. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to be pretty quick there. Okay, uh, two more chip. Oh! Bummer. Yeah, I did not expect that. So it's still a mystery to me where the other uh, two chips are. 
Yeah, and luckily this one isn't anywhere near as long as Fireflies. Yeah, which, uh, if you recall, it's pretty much like considered like the, uh, fake final level of Chips Challenge. Yeah, because it's level 144. But the true ending is actually after you finish level 149. Now, where are those other two chips? Ooh. Oh, there you guys are. We're not gonna. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> Just need to make our way safely to the exit after, which is in the bottom right. Uh, low 82, Avalanche by Nick Laria. So, Nick, Nick Laria again here. Yeah, these are like clone machines. Um, I guess we're supposed to like run past them or something. Okay, uh, that's the outer edge. Mm. Yeah, so we just need to push... Um, ...an ice block into the water down there. Um... Okay, um... So, something needs to be done here, then. Um, as a matter of fact, what happened here? Um, yeah, there isn't really any need to like push that ice block into the water on the far right. Um, Oh, there we go. Yeah, there was still open space, so we can clone it them again by uh, pressing the button for the circuit. Um, level 83, Double Dare by Nick Laria. Wow, Nick Laria. <laughs> it's like, um, probably the third low in a row, I think. Yeah, maybe uh, the other one was by Nick Laria as well, low 80, but I do not remember. Uh, anyway. Okay, um... What is this teleport here? Okay, uh, it's blocked by the runway force view. Or force floor, sorry. Um... Yeah, so we can slide the ice here. Doesn't that leave you trapped, though? Yeah, I think it does leave you trapped. No, 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 there's more over here. Yeah, that's what I get for coming to an incorrect conclusion pretty quickly. Okay, now we're trapped. <laughs> So I guess we need to talk out the swivel first. Yeah, so that way we're able to go like this. What does this end up connecting to? 
not certain. Um, now we just need to go to the upper part, the low, on the far right side. Confused myself there. Oh, yeah, they went to open these doors over here. Slow here. Yep, now you can go on the ice to push the directional blocks and activate the switches, which will open this door over here once we um, turn on all the switches. Alrighty, nice one. Yeah, this one is pretty good low. Uh, low 84, off key by C. Scott Davis. Alrighty, so we have somebody else besides Nick Mario now. Keys? We don't need no stinking keys! Uh, you're telling me. I think it, it just simply refers to that uh, you just need to find a, a way around these obstacles because uh, you won't have any way to go through the um, uh, these different areas yeah, to the locks. So you just have to make do well with them. Uh, so we have forced floors and ice cleats now. I suppose they're like on top of something that causes you to not be able to move them. Um, let's see. Now I need to go through a yellow teleport. Um, this is not that we'll be able to make use of most of the boots right now, but, um... Okay, um... There's no way through, we have to find another yellow teleport, I guess. Uh, which is right here. Uh, we can't go through here, can we? Yeah, these aren't like pop-up walls, or uh, not, not pop-up walls, but rather like those green walls that gets that get pushed down. Um this one reach to anywhere. Um, Where are we supposed to go now? Or did I just block everything off completely here? 
don't think I did. Yeah, but it seems that there's like no further way to proceed with the level. At least not that I'm seeing. Um yeah, I don't see any way to um get through the level. Unless I just happen to miss something. Um Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing anything here, so I'm not sure what's going on. Time, but um, seriously, what are we supposed to do? Hmm. Yeah, so I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, this part is just something that I'm like missing. Or something. Where's that red teleport anyway? Oh. Um, what did that do? Oh, yeah, it, it turned that fire into water right there, with the 100 bonus flag is. Okay, um... So either way, it's, um, it wouldn't be accessible to us until we get the fire boots and flippers, probably. Um... Out, or the block that we need to push was like up here or something. Ah. So I went to the low. Unsolvable. By pushing the wrong block, it appears. Um, so where did that go? It just went over there. Um. Okay, we had the ice cleats with me. Well, actually, it doesn't really matter. You can still get the fire boots. Um, but the uh, chip is protected, though, so. So it looks like we'll need to grab the chip before we collect any items. Yeah, otherwise, the thief will steal them. What's important, then? Can you. Can we grab the fire boots? Okay, yeah. We'll just bounce back as I would expect. Um. Okay, and then um, the blue teleport. Um, over here. Yeah, now we have the. 
uh, pretty much all the boots except for the flippers. Um, and then chip here. All right, now we can break through the sockets here. Um, okay, and then we got to here again. Um, yeah, so we would need to move the ice box out of the way. Yeah, and then we just need to go up. Uh, although it doesn't really matter here because, um, yeah, you're right where the exit is. So, are there any other bonuses that we can collect and stuff? Uh, yes. Yeah, there's really no need for the flippers other than for that right there. Oh, and for this. Yeah, now that I collected everything. Yeah, I think I did. Alrighty, that's Alrighty, so, it's not hard though, it's just that I went there to low unsolvable by pushing the wrong block. Yeah, in the top right corner. Uh, low 85, Scrambled Eggs by Nick Laria. Alrighty, so, I believe this is a low where we would need to, like, switch between Chip and, uh, Melinda. It helps to look ahead, you only have 20 seconds. Okay, um, so in that case, uh, we would need to, um, um, we need to go here. Where's the exit anyway? It's probably hidden somewhere. So here we go with these hidden stuff. Uh, levels again. Uh, no, we can't walk through there. But no, it's right here. That was right here. Um. Okay, so once we get to here, yeah, then it looks like we did like go through the fire here as well. Really, just seems to be like memorizing the level here. Bummer. Yeah, and then just executing it with like near to like no um, mistakes and everything. And we made it. Wow. Okay, uh, time actually ran out. But, uh, yeah, I guess under Link slash Steam, yeah, it ticks down for one more second. I think that's what happens when you reach the exit. Um, Chip says, Looks like I would need some help with the next one. Uh, low 86, Tank Help by Anders uh, Bezier. Alright, um, indeed, uh, there's a mirror chip on the, I think that's a mirror chip. Uh, this level has twin chips, both must exit. Okay, yeah, this one has a different color background, so maybe this is not hostile to us at all. Use the yellow tank to open the gate, then blow your twin out with dynamite. To switch chips, press the C key. Yeah, so now we need to go to this chip here. Um, okay, 
Okay, um... Ah. Yep, that's really all there is to it. A pretty simple puzzle, just introducing that, I guess. So yeah, even though we already passed the last lesson load, yeah, there's still some new stuff that we haven't seen yet. Yeah, like this one, for example. I guess I completely forgot about it. Uh, level 87. X marks the spot by Nick Laria. Okay, um... I suppose we push all the ice blocks. Well, there's rupers there. Yeah, right there. Anything else as well? No, looks like not. Um... There's a yellow teleport there. So, this is the only safe one for the time being. I think. Unless we're supposed to like make one for all the others. So this one should have been left here and then this one should have should have been right up here. Then this is not then I think. Then this is right here. Uh oh, um, This needs to be down here. Then yeah, I suppose it doesn't matter which uh, direction you push this ice block. Okay, now I suppose we just like pick a direction, I guess. Alright, so we get the suction boots here. some chips that we need to cut here. This is not rendered impossible. In that case, let's go ahead and try the yellow teleport instead. Ah, there's the blue key. Okay. 
I think we got them still on it again. There's like no other way right now. Nope, that's a death trap. Okay, why is that needed though? Oh. So we can avoid um, getting our flipper stolen. Yeah. You definitely need to watch out for these because, like, um, some of these things may look very innocuous, but, um, yeah, they actually are very important. Yeah, like that lock died initially dismissed. I don't know if it matters which column we need to um, push the ice blocks, ice blocks in. Um, I'm gonna try the middle. Yeah, it doesn't matter here. Here it shouldn't matter either, I would think. Probably the middle one's hiding a chip. Yep. And also dirt as well. I think it might be for those other bonuses that we needed to skip over. Yeah, these as well. Yeah, these were the ones I meant. Uh, we did get everything, didn't we? This was a pretty nice one. Uh, low 88. Escape by Brad McCleary. Ooh! Rover! Uh-oh. There just happened to be a big wall there that allowed me through, and <laughs> therefore narrowly escaping the glider. Yes, I hope you stay right there, where you can't bother us.
Uh, I never get anything else, did I? Uh-oh, he's coming back. No, can't go over there right now. And he just drowned already. That will work for me too. <laughs> Sure, there's no other way. Or, yeah, want to make sure there's no other way through the green walls. All right, so it looks like we have to get up. Stop slowing now. <laughs> okay, hiking boots are worthless to chip. So, maybe that hints that we will need to change to Melinda at some point. Yeah, and I say worthless to chip because uh, he can actually go over dirt and gravel. Yeah, they won't block him. This appears to be a dead end, so we need to go over here. Uh, three more chips. So, did I forget? Oh, go over here. And we cannot get to the dynamite right now. Somehow I get the feeling that I'm gonna screw things up and then we we'll have to like restart the entire level. Alright, so follows the right wall, right? So I think we'll just have to like move up a little. Oh! Yeah, see, I told you I, <laughs> I told you I screw up.
Alright, looks like he's trapped there. Must have been the rover. I like drowned in the water. Yeah, I don't know where the fake and the hidden slash invisible walls are. Alrighty. Gonna do it again. And yeah, it looks like we will not be switching to Melinda. So therefore, yeah, the hiking boots are completely uh, pointless to have in this low. Yeah, because again, gravel and dirt do not block uh, chip at all. I got my directions confused. No, no, no. The centipede follows the uh, right wall. Let's try this again. Yeah, so the dynamite is completely worthless here as well. Unless they're used to like maybe access, access some bonus flags or something, but I didn't see any. Uh, anyway, low 89, uh, closet by Nick Loria. Um. Alright, so the only way through would be from the right. Uh, then again, the um, pink ball is it going to be trapped later on? Oh no, it switches the stay at the horse floors, that's right, it does. That was close. Three seconds. Yeah, I think this was the one that I was um, remembering with the mirrors and everything. Uh, Low Nighter, Evil Twin by Joshua Bone. Yeah, so I guess you have to make sure. 
uh, that you're able to toggle something off at all times. Next is probably going to be in one of the corners or something, probably. There it is. Okay, this one wasn't too bad. Um, get your running shoes ready, Chip. And I think I'll probably just got to go ahead and make a stop here as well. Um, we're about 47 minutes of recording time, but yeah, I think I need a break. So um, um, we'll make a stop here. So tune in next time for when I let's play more Chip's Challenge too. So with this, hope you enjoyed the video of the Let's Play, and I'll see you all next time.